look at where B-roll came from. You have A-roll. A-roll is... So in the Hollywood production uh, kind of video realm, of course you have multiple cameras, multiple angles. Right now I got one camera. I don't need fancy cameras and fancy switching, but this is where B-roll came from. So the A-roll is the camera number one, is the primary number one camera that I have. For example, it's this one right here looking at me. The other one is the B-roll having supplementary content or shooting some other stuff to fill in. So what that means is while I'm training and I'm sh this camera is rolling and I'm delivering the main content, I can cut in the supplemental video clips from the B-roll. And I should be doing that right now to cut some in. And what that means is, for example, that if you're talking about, let's say you're demoing a product, okay? I'm gonna say that we're demoing a physical product and we have these, let's say it's a brand new keyboard where uh, we're selling, okay? And I have a B-roll shot here. I'm talking about how the keys are made. Okay, then I'm gonna talk about how the keyboard has keys that are nice and soft, right? And then I'm gonna show a B-roll that how it's being used, okay? Now, if I'm talking about this keyboard and how it's being used, what are the recommended you know, force tactics or how often you should clean it, etc. As I'm talking through it, I can cut in and bring in different pieces of B-roll to support my story. And that's essentially where it comes from is that B-roll just you cut in different segments to break up the kind of the talking head. So when I talk about how do we structure that piece of um, kind of video content, how we're gonna do it, I'm actually gonna physically show you how to shoot those you know, pieces of uh, kind of B-roll footage to make that story. And again, everything can be shot with the smartphone, right? That's no different, but when you're talking about it, the B-roll focuses on supporting the main kind of A storyline over here and adding some of that dynamic elements to make the video a little bit more engaging. Last one that we're gonna talk about is sometimes a concept is, well, sometimes you physically don't have anything to show. Right, like right now, I'm just talking about a lot about concepts and structures when I'm using the whiteboard to do it. But sometimes you can actually start using animation text. Like here, I'll pop one out right now, like this. So it's important to use animated text like this, you know, to support something that's more dramatic. Or as I'm talking about a certain concept, I can do some bullet points or something can come up. I like using a whiteboard because I like being interacting with it, but you can also do that with animations. Now, if you can't specifically do the animation on the textual stuff, editors, professional editors, at a very low cost can actually do some of that textual animations in there and they can add that dynamic element. It's a perfect example is when you're using and doing an interview style. And what you're doing is you're bringing a, a question slide in or some form of like, lower thirds or some kind of textual animations in there to bring more engagement to the overall story. All right, so let's get to the next part.